hi my name is antonia i'm trying i'm going to try to make this video as fast and as explanatory as possible so we're working with acetate color for a cake that is going to be decorated i'm trying to get i have some feelings i have the feelings i have here are caramel and whipped cream cheese caramel is quite runny and i don't want it running out of my decorated cake so i like using the acetate color to feel when i'm feeling the cake so the feelings don't run out because using the acetate color keeps everything in so i have whipped cream i have um oreo whipped cream it's simply whipped cream mixed with um oreo cookies then i have my whipped cream cheese like we usually do for decorated cakes the, ba the base of my board i'm going to put some whipped cream i've already cut my cake this is a three layer cake what i do is i further cut each layer into two for my red velvet i just baked in two different pans it's supposed to be one layer but i just divided into this so i won't need to i won't need to further cut so i work with size and width my cookies and cream is heavier than the red velvet sometimes it's also heavier than the carrots so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with cookies and cream so the base here center of my board now i took out all the pans and i left this one this is what i do with the pan this is the acetate color acetate color comes in different heights this is um, this is about 4.5 inches high to, to get the measurement of what I need, I just twist it round and then once I get what I need, I cut with a pair of scissors. So, I just, I realized that the shorter your acetate color, the easier it is to work with when it comes to its use. And then, this is just whipped cream stiff whipped cream that has been whipped stiff i'm going to use it to create a dam around my cake layer so steady hands keep your pressure steady and just create that dam right and then this is my caramel for the first layer i know the caramel is running so what I do, sometimes I refrigerate this and get it a bit thick, but other times I just leave it as it as is and I use. But whether it's refrigerated or not, for the base layer, I always don't put too much. I don't put too much. Now I'm going to I'm going to spread this. Try not to put too much so my cake doesn't slide. And then my oreo whipped cream comes here Just spread it with the spoon it doesn't stick time at all then the next layer for cake layers the most um once it goes once the size of the cake is more than eight inches i refrigerate or freeze the layers before use because when it's a bigger layer than this by the time you, you trim you know it will be so thin and then it could cut anything can happen but once it's frozen or once you refrigerate and it's quite hard it will be easier to handle so once it's a cake that is bigger than 8 inches, I always refrigerate before doing this, before putting my fillings. So I'll be able to handle easier. Note that the quantity of caramel I'm using for this layer is slightly more than the one I used for the bottom layer. 
so. Mm, I can make it look. Let's use the back of your spoon to spread. Now, because this is a decorated cake, um, you know, I can play around with it. If it was a naked field cake, I'll probably be using a piping bag for this. I'll use a piping bag and then spread. Okay, so that's the first layer. So the second, on a normal day, carrot is heavier than red velvet. But the red velvet layers are slightly higher than the half carrot layers. So I'm going to do my red velvet next. So it comes. You can see why I said shorter acetate colors are easier to handle. It's easy. It was easy for me to put this in. Easier than putting this second cookies and cream layer in. So now, even pressure. Pipe your dam. Sometimes your cream cheese could be runny. But today's one is not so runny. It's very stable. And then I'm coming up, so I've increased the quantity of my filling. Can I go on? Okay, so now the cake has gotten to the same height as the acetate color. It's time to put in the next, the next one. So you just put it around. You know, ready pre-measured. Let it go around. Now, if this layer was smaller, as in, in if it was a little smaller in width. See, there are some pans when the cakes come out they are a little smaller in width than the layer beneath them always make sure that this acetate follows the bigger layer so that you won't end up having a cake that comes like this but in this case all the cakes are the same layer so and i staple now once, because there's already acetate down and because it's a kit that I'm decorating, I can play with it. Everything doesn't have to come up at the same time. I can bring it down like this for ease of putting in my cake. And then as I'm going up, I just keep moving this up. So the next layer is red velvet as well. Putting in my red velvet. You can see it's very easy to put in. And then I move my acetate color up. Steady pressure. Okay. Put in the wood. Let me choose. The next layer is the carrot cake. hands a lot and then move this up It's cream cheese filling. Right, 
my layer upside down you turn you can turn it whichever way is convenient for you and that is that as in that's that's basically it um, at this point what i usually do is i leave it like this this is not the time to trim the cake for me this is not the time to dowel the cake sometimes i dowel when the cake is higher than this it's a four layer cake that means i get eight layers i try and look at it and look at this straight and dowel but most times i don't because by the time i bring this cake out from the freezer it's going into the freezer by the time i bring it out from the freezer that's when i'm going to trim that's when i'm going to check if it's level that's when i'm going to do the top and the sides after doing top and sides then i dowel the cake so what keeps this cake like this see this is six layers i don't um i don't skim on dowels it's six layers i use two dowels one here and the other here when it's eight layers i use four dowels one two three four so that if anything happens to the cake because it's several layers it doesn't break even if it falls it falls as a whole cake it has happened to me a couple of times my cake fell in fact there was one a bigger cake fell on the smaller one but because both cakes were properly doubled the cakes came back to me whole all i had to do was just change the um the cream i didn't have to do anything to the filling so once this goes into the freezer once it stays in the freezer for like 45 minutes minimum of 45 minutes it's fine i'm ready to work i'm ready to trim i'm ready to to do my crumb coat but the most important thing is get all these nice fillings in get them into the cake let them stay in once the cake is cold the fillings will stay like that caramel once the cake is cold the caramel itself thickens but but the good part of doing this now that the cake is not so you know the cake is still fresh is the caramel has time to go into the cake so i hope um uh, um once so yeah once it comes out from the freezer you peel this off just peel off your acetate um color and then you trim do your crumb coats and then if you don't if you're the first type who doesn't crumb coat do your cover you are good to go so let me know if you have any questions just send a dm or you can send an email i'll be willing to answer your questions thank you okay